Hey, hope you're having a good day. Coach Elan here. Uh, so for today's live video, what I'm going to do is a full body stretching session and then we're also going to do a full body workout as well. So hopefully that will help you to de-stress a little bit because uh, I know it's really tough at the moment with the pandemic. Uh, so anything we can do to help de-stress, release any anxiety that we may have and then also just to boost your mood for the rest of the day is uh, definitely something positive. So we'll get straight into the workout. Um, as I said, we're gonna do some stretching first. So what we'll do is just uh, gonna go down, touch your toes or get down as far as you can and reaching up to the ceiling. So running your hands down your legs, try and get down to your toes and reach up high. So we'll do 10 of these. Try and keep your legs as straight as possible as you go down and then reach up to the ceiling. And then for the entire session, in terms of your breathing, you're thinking about breathing in through your nose and then out through your mouth. All right, so just gonna follow me the entire way through the session and uh, I will obviously incorporate some breaks as well in between so you can get a drink of water and catch your breath. All right, so we'll just do one more of these. And then next what you're gonna do is a crossover position with your feet. So you're bringing your right foot across in front of your left foot. And then all you're doing is going down, running your hands down your legs. And this is specifically for your hamstrings at the back of your legs. So we'll do like 10 of these going up and down. All right, and then once we've got those done, we'll swap on to the opposite leg. And then once we've got 10 done for our hamstrings there, we'll move on to our quads. So I'm gonna get you to grab your foot. Uh, you can hold on to something for balance if you need to because balance can be difficult when doing this. So just get you to hold that position for about 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we'll move on to the opposite leg. So grabbing your ankle, 10, nine. And you're thinking about actively pushing your foot down against your hand. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, and then what we'll do next is we will work on your calves. So you're gonna bend your left knee for this one and you wanna go straight out with your right leg, all right? And you're pointing your toe up towards you, all right? So bend the left knee, right toe goes up and you're running your hands up and down your legs, constantly trying to push that toe back up towards you. And that's gonna really stretch out your calves and you'll also feel on your hamstrings a bit as well. So we'll do 10 of those on that leg, and then we'll swap to the opposite side. So bending your right knee straight out with your left foot, toe comes up, and then just running your hands up and down your legs. All right, lovely. And then for your feet and ankles, I'm gonna get you to do a really big rotation with your foot. So we'll do like 10 of those and then do it clockwise and anti-clockwise. And then the same on the opposite side. We go clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay, and then next we're gonna go with a wide sumo stance. So try to go out as wide as you can. Go left hand down, right hand up, and then right hand down, left hand up. So this is called a windmill, mostly for your, we're in a lot of different muscle groups here, shoulders, glutes, hamstrings, lower back. Okay, so we'll go for one more of these on each side. All right, perfect. And then next we'll do some arm swings. So you're gonna do 10 of those forward. So just keep going with that. I'm gonna take this off, bloody roasting in here. All right, so we'll do the 10 arm swings, reaching up as high as you can, 
And then you're also gonna go backwards as well. So reach up high, bring your hands back behind. Trying to make a really big circular motion with your arms, bringing your hands above your head as well as you're doing it. All right, and then uh, next I'll actually get you to hop on the floor. So uh, we're gonna go on all fours. Uh, before we do that, actually, we'll just warm up our wrists and fingers a little bit. So we're just thinking about spreading your fingers out and doing some rotations as well. All right, so we'll go on all fours now and we're gonna do some cat and camels. So that's simply where you pull your chin down and lift your head up. So we'll do 10 of these, just to loosen out your lower, mid and upper back. All right, and then the next one is gonna be a Superman. So reaching your right hand forward and your left foot back. So really trying to extend out, just so you can see me there. I'll go face on. So arm goes forward, leg goes back. Hopefully you have enough space. I'm a bit tight in here. So we'll do 10 of these on each side. Think about bringing your elbow to your knee. And then just swap on to the opposite side. So we're nearly done all the warm-ups now. I'm just gonna do a little bit more shoulder and neck after this. And then we're gonna start with the workout. All right, so next one, you're gonna use like the side, I have a, a mantel piece here on a fireplace. You can use the side of a chair or a couch or whatever you have. And all you're gonna do is reach out forward, let your head drop down, and try to get a really big stretch with your shoulders. And just hold that for about 30 seconds. So taking long, slow inhales in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, and then we'll finish with some neck stretches as well. So you're thinking about pushing your hands down to the floor and you're just bringing your ear to your shoulder. So really important that you're not doing this, but you're keeping your upper body still, pushing your hands down and bringing your ear across to each side. So do as many reps as you need to on that one to get your neck loosened out. And you can also go forward and back and you can also do some full circular rotations like that in each direction. Do more of whatever one you need to really loosen out that area. So that's all the warm ups done. Get yourself a, a quick drink if you need it. And then we're gonna go through a full body workout. So we're gonna go through a whole sequence. So what we'll do is we'll start with lower body and work our way up. So really simple to start, just gonna do some calf raises and We'll go for 30 seconds on every muscle group just to keep it simple. So all you're doing is pushing up through your toes, trying to get up as high as you can, keeping your legs straight, letting your feet do all the work. Trying to come up nice and high. Imagine you're a ballerina, trying to go right up onto your tippy toes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right, so there's the first round for calves done. Next, we'll move on to hamstrings. So very simply, you're gonna do what's called an airplane. So hands in your chest, slowly let one leg come behind and then bring it back down to the floor. So you're trying to tilt over and push that leg behind you as far as it can go. And you're trying to balance on that right leg. If the balance is too difficult, put your hand on something that's gonna make it a bit easier. All right, and then next we'll move on to the opposite leg. So same thing, you can have your hand on something for balance if you need. And standing on your left leg, pushing your right leg right back behind. Trying to keep it as straight as possible. Two 
almost done that one. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, love it. And then next we'll move on to quads. So for this one, we're gonna just do some reverse lunges. So we'll go for 30 seconds in total. So bringing your knee down to the floor and just swapping from side to side. So on this one, you can have your hands like this. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can go hands behind your head. Or if not, you can just keep your hands by your side like that for balance. So do it whatever way kind of suits you. All right, so we're almost done. So one more rep. All right, lovely. So that's quads and glutes. Uh, next, I'll get you to hop on the floor. We'll do a little bit of hips. So you're gonna have your hands behind like this, kind of lean back a little bit. And what you're gonna do is just lift in your right leg up and we'll do like five reps on each leg. Try and keep your leg as straight as possible. And then the same on the opposite leg. So we're going for five on that side. All right, and then next what we'll do is move up to abs. So for this one, what I'm gonna get you to do is very simply start in this position where you have your feet up off the floor, your hands like that. So you're trying to hold yourself in that position. All right, so we'll hold that for 10 seconds, keeping your knees up to your chest, feet off the floor. And now what we'll do is we'll throw in a bit of arm movement. So we're trying to reach up really high. And then go for 10 seconds on this one as well. All right, and then the next one we'll do, we're gonna have your hands out in front and very slowly, you're just gonna lean back a little bit, let your legs go out and then pull back in. So don't go back too far, because the more you go back, the harder it's gonna be. So really, really controlled. All right, lovely. And then next we'll move on to uh, more of our upper body, chest, shoulders, triceps, and our back. So what we'll do for this one is incorporate some movement. So we're gonna do some bear crawls. So I'll get you to go for five bear crawls. So just walking your hands out really slowly until you get into a plank position. And then using your hands to walk all the way back. So there's one. Slowly walking out again, spreading your fingers out. Really important that you're not putting all the weight on your wrists here. I'm actually spreading my fingers out and I'm grabbing the floor like that. So try and spread your fingers out and grab the floor. Perfect, okay, there's three. Two more to go. Keep it really nice and controlled on the way out. And I'm just gonna do one more. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna just give you about 45 seconds break and then we'll move on. So comment below, let me know what's the area you would like to tone up most. Would you like to tone up your triceps, your hamstrings, your abs? where is most important for you comment below let me know and uh, i'll do more exercises for that area in particular okay so that's a 45 second break next uh we'll move on to a modified push-up so for this one i'm gonna have you on the floor and what you're doing is having your hands just outside shoulder width and you're thinking about bringing your head down to the floor in front of you all right so Big deep breath in, lower yourself down as far as you can go, and then breathe out on the way up. So big breath in. And it's really important when you're doing this, you're trying to keep your elbows kind of 
tucked in in this sort of area. Don't let your elbows go out like that because it'll put your shoulder into a bad position. So big deep breath in, trying to keep the elbows tucked. Get yourself down as close to the floor as possible. And then keep going with that until it's about a nine out of 10 difficulty. So until you only have about one, maybe two reps left in the tank. Okay, we'll just go for one more. All right, lovely. So next then, I'm gonna get you to just go into a, a standard plank position. So you have your hands underneath your shoulders and your feet straighten out behind you like that. Try and engage your abs. So we're not in this position, we're engaging the abs here. And I'm gonna get you to hold that for, we'll aim for, let's say 30 seconds to go for, all right? So keeping the abs engaged, trying to keep your arms straight, just focusing on your breathing, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, almost there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, perfect. So next uh, for your shoulders, uh, what we'll do is I'll get you to lie in your chest and we're gonna be doing this motion going forward and back, all right? So you're trying not to let your hands touch the floor in this one. So you're lying on the floor and you're keeping your hands up like this and your elbows are going back and forth. So hopefully you can see me there, forward and back like that. Until you've done it for 30 seconds. So just keep going. Another 10 seconds left, 10, nine, five, four, three, two, one. All right, perfect. So I'm just gonna give you another quick 30 second break and then we'll continue on we'll just do one more quick round of that and then that will be the entire workout complete so already we have pretty much hit every muscle group we're just going to do one more round to just make sure it's effective enough that you can actually feel everywhere working <clears throat> okay so we're gonna go again. So we'll go back to doing some calf raises again. So go for 30 seconds on that one. Keeping your hands, but you can keep your hands wherever you want really. And uh, just keeping your legs straight is all you really wanna focus on. Trying to get right up in your tippy toes. If you wanna try to get up a little bit higher, you can hold on to something. And that's gonna make it a bit easier to get up a bit higher. All right, so that's that one done. Then we'll go on to hamstrings again. We'll do a different exercise this time for hamstrings. So this time I'm gonna get you to do a crossover position with your feet again. So bring your right across in front of your left. Okay, I'm gonna put your hands up like this and you're gonna push your hips back, all right? So you want your hips to go straight back like that. And we'll go for 30 seconds on each side. So crossover position with your feet pushing your hips back. This one is for your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back. So we're hitting three really big muscle groups there. So pushing your hips straight back behind, keeping your hands up behind your head. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one. And then we'll swap to the opposite side. So again, crossover position with your feet hands up behind your head, and then just pushing your hips directly behind. And going for 30 seconds. All right, almost there, 10 seconds left. So 
in this one, you're trying to go down as low as you can so you can really feel it on the back of your leg and your hamstring. All right, and then next we'll go on to more quad and glute work. So just doing some reverse lunges. So bringing your knee down to the floor. Uh, if you struggle with balance on this one, again, just put your hand on something so you can hold onto it. And just keep going with that for about 30 seconds. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to make it a little bit harder, instead of having your hands beside you, what you'll do is put your hands up behind your head and that'll make it a little bit more difficult. Okay, we'll just go for one more. All right, perfect. So then we'll move on uh, to abs again. So for this one, you're gonna get it to hop on the floor and we're gonna really focus on engaging your abs on this one, okay? So you're gonna line your back, have your knees up like this, and what you're doing is you're trying to reach your hands above your knees. So letting your head come down to the floor and then coming up into this position here where your hands are going up past your knees. And that crunching motion is really gonna engage your abs because you're putting your abs into what's called flexion where they're fully engaged. So keep going with that one for about 30 seconds and you should really start to feel your abs working. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. And then next for abs, uh, I'm going to show you an exercise that I haven't probably shown you much before. So this is a variation of what's called a dead bug. So for this one, you're going to start on the floor and you're gonna have your hands up like this and you're gonna start with your legs like so. And then from there, your hands are going back and your legs are going up into the air, okay? So like this, legs go up and forward, hands come back, all right? You're trying to keep your head up as well so your abs are engaged. And again, trying to go with that for 30 seconds. So this one is a little bit harder, but it's a good challenge for you nonetheless. If your neck starts to get really fatigued, what you can do is let your head relax on the floor and then just keep going with it. Okay, just going for one more. And if your lower back is starting to get really fatigued from doing that or any ab work for that matter, the best thing to do is just to go straight into some cat and candles to loosen out your lower back. So I can feel my lower back a little bit after doing that ab work. So. Very simply, I'm just going to go through 10 or 20, however many reps I need to do of cat and camels to loosen out my lower back a little bit more. So I'll do a few of these. And now I can start to feel my lower back loosen out a bit, so I know I'm good to go. So we'll go back to doing the upper body exercises. So this time, what we're gonna do is a bear crawl. And when you bring yourself out, you're very slowly gonna bring yourself down to the floor, okay? So starting with your feet in one position, walking your hands out. And when you get to the full plank position here, what I want you to do is really slowly try and lower yourself to the floor, really control it. And then just lift your head and chest up first like this and then lift your hips up. So you don't even have to do a push-up to bring yourself back up. So we'll go for five of these. So again, walking your hands out, nice and slow. Really slowly lower yourself down to the floor. And then to bring yourself back up, lift your head and chest up first, then lift your hips up, and then walk back. All right, so if you don't have enough strength to do a push-up, you don't even have to worry about it because you're only controlling the way down. That's it, so head and chest up again, then let the hips come up and then just walk back. Okay, so we've got another two more of those to do and then that'll be your workout finished. So we've really got a lot done in a short period of time. Lower yourself down slowly. 
slowly walking back up again. And got one rep left. So try and make this one your best one. Nice and slow on the way down. And then lift your chest up, kind of lean back in your knees, and then walk back up with your hands. Okay, so that is the uh, full workout done for today. Uh, hope you found that helpful. I know I'm definitely a bit sweaty after. I can definitely feel my abs working. Uh, so if you have any questions about anything I did today, please let me know. As you can see, my hair is all over the place. That's one of the great things about lockdown, not being able to get a haircut for the last several months. Definitely gonna be the first thing that I do once, we, once it's over. Uh, so if you have any questions about anything at all, please let me know. Uh, no such thing as a stupid question. And if there is any areas that you'd really like to tone up, you wanna focus on your stomach, you wanna focus on your glutes, your arms, wherever it may be, um, I'm offering a free consultation at the moment, so all you have to do is book in a time that suits you. We can have a chat, and I can show you some different exercises that you can do to help tone up those different areas. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. If you'd like to see another uh, workout on something specific next week, uh, just comment below or just send me a message. Let me know what suits. And then I will do that specifically for you next week. So that's pretty much it for today. Take it easy, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.